five kerosene-fueled microturbines, one exoskeleton suit, a camera-fitted helmet, one oil trader turned obsessed inventor. You strap it all on, you feel the weight, you go to do a systems check, the heads-up display fires up, and you squeeze that trigger to full power, you feel the thrust come in, and then there's that magic moment when it all goes peaceful, when the ground literally leaves your feet. And then there's this weird moment, a bit like riding a bike, but in three dimensions, where you have complete three-dimensional freedom. You can just look at where you want to go to, and it just happens. He's not a huge fan of being called Iron Man, but even he has a hard time avoiding the comparisons. So we didn't build this to build an Iron Man suit. There were some wonderful parallels, and the Iron Man CGI community reached out to us joyously, and we're very excited to see that it turns out that all of their thinking that they'd done around what this might be like was actually really very accurate. It's a great link I love people to make when they see it. So why leave the day job as an oil trader? I did have some hesitance making the leap from a perfectly good normal day job into this, this world. But then again, I think you only live life once and I didn't want to have the regret of not pursuing this. It was about could you reimagine human flight in an entirely different way by adding just a little bit of horsepower to the human frame. A little horsepower is more like five jets, each with the power of 170 horses, capable of pumping out air at 1,000 miles per hour. That's more horsepower per jet than this. Richard has named his suit Daedalus Mark I after this guy. It looks easy here, but no pain, no gain, right? We went through countless iterations with this. We tried putting engines on, on the legs. We tried putting three engines on each arm. We even experimented with independent throttle control for each engine. The only way we got through all this was just by constantly analyzing what would be the worst that, that could happen if we just got out there and tried it. And if that answer was falling from a couple of feet onto a farmyard, we went and did it. And that's why we ended up opening the door onto a world we never imagined. Daedalus isn't ready for your garage just yet. We're doing some work with interesting military groups around the world. First responder rescue personnel in the same kind of manner. If you want to move a soldier in a very unique, nimble way in three-dimensional space, we, it turns out we can do that very well. But also I'd say what our focus is at the moment is frankly entertaining people. And for now, fun is, well, fun.